But let me offer you the proposition that cinema, celluloid cinema, what I would call the Casablanca syndrome, is really now a completely dead and finished phenomenon. I'm sure and hope that everybody in this room agrees with me. So, uh, what do you think about experimental filmmaking? I even see it focus on me as I focus on it. It screeps me out because it's like machinery. It's becoming a lie, you know? I sound like such a stoner right now. I think that experimental filmmaking is a waste of time. If you look at it, it's not like any of us are something special. We're just like to, you know, get a camera in front of us and like to talk and pretend someone out there is actually listening. How was it done? Every single film exploits someone. Even Passion of the Christ? <laughs> it's phrasing something so that way it can be seen. Clearly in 90 minutes, that otherwise would take a lifetime to see. Just 90 minutes? Okay, you can stretch it out to two hours if you really must, but no more than that, I beg of you, please. But essentially there are no more interesting filmmakers. All the interesting filmmakers have gone somewhere else. Because the notion of celluloid cinema with all its characteristics is surely, we have to agree, a bankrupt medium. I said help her, I said help her, I said help her friend today. I said a nickel or a dime, he is hers or mine. I'm going to love her now. I said help her friend today. I said help her friend today. I'm curious to see what the average is in class. Yeah, me too. Maybe there was a good idea, there was a thousand idea, and there was one we all gave up, and we were just kind of building up on it, building up on it. What we call an opinion is just funny, you know, it's just like an accident, an accident. It won't last, it'll disappear. It'll be a minute free song of entertainment which will disappear the moment the person that closes their book. Do you want that to be the history of culture in the West? Do you want art to be associated with those sorts of economically driven potentials for art history? It's just that people don't admit how full of themselves they are. Everyone pretends that everybody else is full of themselves, but they're better. No, I admit I am full of myself. I admit I have a fucking ego that just goes beyond whatever you want. Okay, and no, I don't have a fucking talent for it. It's okay, you, you know, talent is gone. You don't need talent anymore. You have machines. Do, 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 the remote control button was introduced into the living rooms of the world. And then that finally is the end of cinema. The cinema is a passive medium. You sit in a dark place. And what the hell are you doing in a dark place anyway? Man's not a nocturnal animal. And you sit for two hours looking in one direction on one single screen, occupying only two of your five senses. <laughs> We're special. They do. Here's Sawa's films. Too many revelations. Very pretty. I fall asleep in most of them. What do you want art to give you? What do you want cultural experience to give you? Should there be in-depth, profound experiences which have some satisfaction that can be retained in your four senses and your imagination for the rest of your life? Communal living and equalization of everything. I mean, that's not going to happen in the film industry. You have a director. <laughs> You know? Yeah. yeah. What about everybody else that is behind the fucking you know okay? And I'm not just putting in Cheney because Cheney's just like a fucking nutsack. He's hanging off his face long way. And you know what? It really doesn't matter. But, you know, it's not like, what about all the other people that are behind the screen? It's not like, I don't even know. I have not seen an avant-garde film yet that I managed to sit through away.